just gonna tuck in. We're here in all this grass, as you can see right here beside me. Uh, it's just kind of a dead fall and grass, so uh, yeah, hopefully I can get the filming done. I've never filmed it here before that I was also the hunter, so uh, I guess we'll have to look if we can do both today. So. Well guys, somebody got lucky. Just about a hundred yards across the creek here. Uh, the old 12 gauge bellard over there, so. We're still in the game, but it's gonna be a little bit cause there's kind of turkeys flying everywhere. They're still coming out of the trees. He must've just shot that thing right off the roost. Like it must've flown down in his lap. So, uh, cause mine hadn't even flown down yet. Yeah, stay tuned. We'll get back on you here as soon as uh, there's some action. Well guys, it's about time for an update here. I had turkeys everywhere. I uh, actually called in two of them and uh, they were easy close enough to shoot but I just couldn't get them on the camera half the time and the one time I could have shot him on camera I just thought he was actually coming in. I kind of got myself tucked back in here too far and I only have a shooting lane out to the decoy and they were skirting the decoy and then coming right beside me and I couldn't shoot there. Well guys, after all that, the birds just aren't cooperating anymore, so uh, I think I'm gonna start sneaking out of here. I'm just gonna kind of still hunt out, but I probably won't film much unless I stop and uh, end up sitting somewhere, but uh, either way, we'll see you when we get one or, or before. Stay tuned. it's day two out here um, I didn't get it done the other day obviously it's an awesome day it is April 15th by the way so uh, yeah beautiful out here stay tuned
I'm down here in a cedar thicket and uh, this is another one of my favorite spots to turkey hunt. I'm just kind of smashed in here because uh, there was actually a gobbler right here so uh, I snuck the decoy out and I'm gonna hit the call and see what happens. Stay tuned. Yes, guys. Oh, guys, man, I I didn't want to turkey that bad in a while. There are so many long beards here. And I couldn't even, I couldn't even uh, film them. I'm back here in these cedars and I thought it's not going to happen. I've been sitting here for three hours with those things at 70 yards. Just like that, they're like, whoop, we're coming. And I actually almost had to wait, or I had to wait a while for them to not, so I don't kill two. They were being a little hard on me this time around for filming. I could have shot a few already, but I was hoping we get a big old fight going on, and we did for a five seconds, but there was turkeys flying everywhere. They're in this standing corn, and I don't even know where they went, or I don't even know where they all are. Like, they're all in there, and just, I can't even see them. But, yeah, I waited on that front one. Uh, to move forward because this one looked like he had a bigger beard but I don't know but hey we got that done now it's gonna be for the bow I this filming thing without a blind is hard too it's almost as hard as uh, it's almost as hard as trying to bow hunt with a without a blind I guess well let's go out and get him because he's hardly even flopping he did for a while there but oh Let's go out there and I'll show you kind of where I'm sitting here. So I'm standing at the turkey right now and it's just a big patch of those little cedar trees. Well, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, big old spurs. Yeah, I picked the right bird. Man, those are over an inch long. All right, let's clean him up. And actually, I should tag him before I do anything. April fifteenth. Public land. I think I shot three birds here now. Exactly the same spot. Well guys, there it is. At least inch and an eighth spurs. I don't know if they make inch and a quarter or not. Probably one of the longest spurs I've ever got. And uh, that goes from picking out the, the rear bird there. I don't know, the front one had a different beard. I wasn't looking at spurs, I guess, but I had to wait. <laughs> I'm crazy. I here I was thinking they're gonna stop and not come. The first time they stopped, I couldn't shoot, and then they kept coming, and then I could shoot, 
and then I then I was like, well, I'm gonna wait for the back one to straighten out yet, and yeah, what you don't do to get a turkey. But anyway, I guess I'm done for now. Fourth season opens here in another, I don't know, week or so probably, and we'll see. But uh, I'll probably be using my bow yet for the rest of the season. Try and fill it one more time. So I don't know. It's got the good old 10 inch beard I don't know real close to 10 just typical bird other than it's a good old one good old DSD decoy brought him in again hey this turned out pretty good to think of all the things that were running against me here I had hens I actually had a hen come by me while I was standing beside the tree I'm here standing beside the tree screening myself looking through the branches over at these turkeys and uh, I hear this hen yelp and I look over and she's standing right there so I just stood still and she walked right past the decoy at maybe 10 yards and uh, she did get she did start putting a little bit she did it like three times but she just kept on walking by and then that was just 10 minutes before these things actually came but anyway I think that's gonna be it if I don't see anything too crazy on the way out, uh, this will probably be it. And uh, I guess I'm just going to say, hey, thanks for watching. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one.